have to say, you know, I'm a big fan of the show Game of Thrones, and then to see you in regular clothes, it's always weird when one of the members of the cast I'm comes. sort of rocking some, like, chain mail, so I thought I'd keep... That's kind of Game of Thronesy. Oh, right? yeah, that is a little bit Game of Thronesy, yes. sure. How are you doing? Welcome. I'm Thank really you for good. coming here. Thank you for having me. It this is, is amazing. It is my pleasure to have you here. <laughs> your show um, like online because I watch I your show on television the way uh, God intended <laughs> I love the show do people do you get that all the time I would assume all the time people come yeah, up to you and people tell you really love it and it's amazing like I love it though so I'm like a hardcore fan Were you a from fan? the beginning oh really before yeah. you because what yeah. season did you start on the show uh, season three season so. three right so you yeah. oh so there were two seasons that you didn't it's not like you knew there was a plan to put you on the show eventually no no I just watched it and was like, obsessed with it. What were you doing when you got that job? I was uh, working in a retail store, in a clothes shop at the in time. In a clothing store? Really? Yeah, wow. I was, like, really out of work at the time. So I was, what? like, you know, you were like paying a, the bills, a as you do. Shop cashier or whatever? Oh, that? I worked in a like, clothes store. I had to, like, work, like, work behind the registers. Yes, the here. register. What yeah. do you guys call it? Call um, it? The till. Oh, the till. That's yeah. very charming. Yeah, so I'm working at the till. Yeah. <laughs> so I was, I'd either do that or I would have to fold the clothes or like... It sounds like you didn't like the job. Is no. That, no, you didn't like the job, yeah. yeah. Did you ever catch anyone shoplifting or anything like that? Oh, yeah, all oh. the time. Like, I people really like to rob that shop. It was really oh, they weird. did? <laughs> yeah, it was like... What was... would you do? Was it one of those deals? Because, like, when I worked at a clothing store, they would say, don't do anything witness them, get their license plate, I and think, I wanted I to jump on I think we just had it. to find a manager. I think that was... Find the manager? I can't remember. That's probably wrong. That's probably why I didn't last long there. Oh. <laughs> so then did you quit that job for Yeah, well, I was... I, I auditioned for Game of Thrones while I was working there, and um, then I got it. <laughs> How do they tell you when you get a job on Game of Thrones? Do they call you or do they send a raven? How did you... <laughs> Um, my agent called me. Oh, your agent Sadly, called Sadly, not as fun as receiving a raven. No, a raven um, would be so... That would be awesome if they yeah. sent ravens. Okay. And now, and this is the seventh season. Are you... You're finished shooting this? Yeah, yeah. seven's finished. Do you yeah. know what happened? Yeah. Oh, you do. You never <laughs> tell anyone what oh, happened, no. right? Do you tell even, like, your relatives, close... People close to you, you do not? No, not really. Um... No, I'm pretty vague about it. Just because I like it really cross when people tell me about, you know, yeah, what shows I like or movies I haven't seen yet and they tell me and I'm like, <sighs> like, what's the point now? Right. But at the same time, it doesn't matter what you think it's going to be, it's always so much more than that, so... There's you know. uh, also this weird thing where I don't want to know what happens, but, and yet also, I feel an urge to pester you. <laughs> into telling me well, what happens, even though I know I don't want to know what happens. I'm a fortress. You ain't really getting it. You are. Yeah. So you're uncrackable. By the way, you speak... What's the language, the name of the language you speak on the show, your uh, characters? Valerian. Speak? Valerian, like the steel. Valerian. I think it is in, in Valerian. Late oh. Valerian. And is it... It's not obviously a, uh, working a real language. N no, 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 no. It's... Well, it... It's not like a language that exists, like, in the world, but it does... It does... <laughs> Have uh, it's fully constructed by a genius linguist called David J. Peterson, who has like fully formed. How do you know he's a genius? Language. Couldn't he just be making things up? No, no. I mean, of course he's he's pulled inspiration from different languages and different sounds and that type of thing. But he's like, the words have meanings, and you know, there's like. I mean, there's like a dialect. There's like the high Valyrian, low Valyrian, and the words like mean stuff. So when they send me my lines. He's, like, created the word for dragon or created the word for queen or whatever. Like, it has meaning. What and, is the word for queen? Um, well, in High Valyrian, it <laughs> is, um, Daria. Daria? In Low Valyrian, it is Dare. So, there we OK. Go. And so then will he go... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't know. I could be totally wrong. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Hey, and they'll right. go, no, 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 it's I'm Dadia. I'm sure some fans will tell me that yeah. I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, because there are, like, like, 11 maniacs in the world that pay attention to this sort of stuff, and right. for some reason they have to focus. They've hired a guy full-time to make these 11 maniacs happy. Right. <laughs> Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel, and you'll finally be happy.